Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm CG Smoothie, and today we're gonna learn how to make grid-based movement in Unity 2D. I uh, just have a simple scene with just a tile map and a character here. You can see if I play it, just a little bit of animation. I'll also show how to animate the character so that he can move in 3D and it'll look good. Or not in 3D, in a grid and like he'll turn around and stuff. So let's go onto our character, add a script, and let's call it grid based. Create an ad and wait for Visual Studio to open up. So before start, let's add public float move speed and let's set that equal to 5F. Let's make public layer mask, obstacle layers, make a public transform move point and public animator anim. Uh, at this, well, first let's go back to Unity and on our player, let's also rename him player. All of these sprites, I'll have them available in a link in the description on my itch.io page and also follow that page so you can get updates for when I release games and other assets you can use. So let's go into create empty and add a game object and let's rename this game object move point and in here let's drag the transform here and make sure there's an animator on your player and drag that there. In obstacle layers, let's make a new layer for our obstacles, which for me is just this. We gotta add a component. So let's make a composite collider 2D, turn off the rigid body to make it static, and let's make a tile map collider and make used by composite. So that shows all of this. Let's go into this and make the layer add layer and let's call it obstacles and we're going to make it so that the player cannot move into like the water and the trees if you want you could also just make them go through but i think this is better so let's go back into the script or let's go into obstacle layers and add obstacles as the layer and make sure your layer for the obstacles is obstacles okay go back into the script Let's set the move point dot parent equals null because when when we move the move point, it's not it's gonna have to stay different than the player. Otherwise, it'll just keep moving forever when we move the player towards the move point. In update, let's do vector three dot move towards transform dot position move point dot position move speed times time dot delta time and that will make it move towards the move point at a consistent speed no matter what the frame rate because of time.delta time. Now if vector3.distance transform.position move point.position is less than I'm going to do 0 0.05 and this will mean if the distance is less than that so it won't recognize your input until you're next to that distance and then if function mathf or math function dot absolute value input dot get axis raw horizontal is greater than zero if physics 2d dot overlap circle move point dot position plus new vector 3 input dot get axis raw horizontal 0f 0.2f which will be the radius obstacle layers then move point dot position plus equals input dot get axis raw horizontal in a vector 3 0f and now we just want to do the same thing but for vertical so we just replace all of this with vertical and make sure that you're putting it as the Y instead of as the X value. Okay, and also make sure that the physics 2D is at a negative value because we want it to say if it's not, if there isn't anything in the circle, then you can move. So if we test it out now, it should be able to work. Y. 
make this a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to now let's also give this a tag so we can see it does the move point move at least the move point moves why does the player not move okay so the player doesn't move because we didn't do transform dot position equals vector three dot move towards transform dot position you get it the rest so now that we've done that it should be able to move we have grid based movement and you can move the player around the little scene and he oh he will go into the forest so that is a problem and he'll go into the water problem how do we fix that it may be because we're using outlines so let's change that to polygons on the composite collider and there we have it it doesn't go into the water now or the trees or the rocks it does not so there we have just the movement if we want to add animation let's do that now and while we're in between animating and scripting YouTube says now would be a good time to let you know that it would be cool if you could subscribe. Only about 2% of you are subscribed, so if 25% of you subscribed, we could get to 8,000 subscribers in just a night. And that would be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> On to the animating. So in the animator, I just have simple animations for every direction, and I can show you with this in here, like the idols. I just have idols for each direction and walks for each direction. Okay, so now that I have all those, which again, they're on itch.io on my page, which is in the description, you can just use those for free. But if you want, you can also donate. That would be very much appreciated. But let's just animate it. We're going to delete all these animations and make a uh, from new blend tree. We go into the blend tree. So since we're just using X and Y, we just need to make two floats in the parameters. We just need to make two floats, move X and move Y. If we double click on the blend tree, we go in here. Let's make it a 2D simple directional parameter, move X and move Y. And in the code, let's make anim.getFloat move X.setFloat equal to input.getAxis raw horizontal or actually we put this inside of the thing okay and we can just do the same thing here but for move y instead and vertical so in here it should change with when we now for the motion we'll just add motion fields we're also going to make sure that this is the idle tree because we're gonna have two trees one for movement one for not movement so here we'll just put idle down and we'll just add all of our animations idle left right and idle up and we'll make up where y is 1 and x is 0 right where x is 1 and y is 0 left where x is negative 1 and y is 0 and down where x is 0 and y is negative one and you can see here should work let's see how it works in so it doesn't know what to do when x is negative one and y is negative one at the same time so maybe we should just instead of putting it here let's just put them outside of the update or outside of the if function and just out on their own also Make sure this is else if, otherwise you'll get diagonals and that will look weird with our animator. So now at UC I can't get diagonals. So that's looking good, but how do we make sure that they walk? Because we have all those walk animations, but they're not being used. So in the animator, let's go out of here and make another blend tree, or can we copy this? Copy and paste, call this movement tree and idle tree and let's make a bool walking and we'll make a transition if walking is true it doesn't have an exit time there is no transition duration 
and then we do the same thing but opposite if walking is false no transition no exit so we just go in the animator here or in the code walking or anim dot set bool walking this is a capital it's capital anim dot set bool walking false and outside else anim dot set pool walking true and i think that should do it we still have to change all of the animations in this movement tree to match our walking animations walk down walk left walk right and walk up so now it should work let's turn off the gizmos We're having a bit of trouble because the guy keeps glitching. So let's see if we can fix that. We're actually just going to do if input.get axis raw horizontal doesn't equal zero or input.get axis raw vertical doesn't equal zero, then Anim dot set bool walking true else anim dot set bool walking false that should fix it let's see yes the walking now works It works, so if we maximize it, you can see the little guys walking. And this can be used for like a Zelda top-down game or any game like how I did on Guacamole. Editing smoothie here. I, while editing, found a better way to code this, because if you saw in that last footage, uh, the character always returns facing towards the camera, and you might want to show your idle poses because we did all that work for the idle poses, but you can't see them except for the front facing. So to fix that, I found if you go into here and you have this new form thing that we just did, the last thing we did, if you move the anim.set floats here, if you control C that backspace, and in here, control V, and just delete that. If you save that now, It'll make it so you can face any direction and you don't auto face back towards the camera at the end. So that makes it so you can see all the animations you worked so hard on. So back to normal in video smoothie. And yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned how to make a grid based tile set movement system. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.